Greetings, this is Robin's Book Club, episode 67, Soul Lighter, the Centennial Retrospective. It's been lovingly put together by the two people best qualified to undertake this task, uh, and they've also done some of the previous books that we've looked at. It's Margaret Erb and Michael Perillo, respectively director and associate director of the Soul Lighter Foundation. Lighter was born on the 3rd of December 1923, so this book celebrates his 100th anniversary of his birth. At 352 pages long and a little bigger than a sheet of A4 paper in terms of dimensions, it is a big book in every sense as you can see. Recommended retail price is £60 in the United Kingdom, although the book is available for quite a lot less than that online, and at the time of making this video it is available for pre-order in the United States with a release date set for the 21st of November. As alluded to, this is by no means the first book about Lighter. Some of you will have seen previous reviews that I have made, uh, which I will link above and in the text below. So if you want to refresh your memories or if you haven't seen those, you know, there's some really good stuff in there. So definitely worth checking it out. Uh, this book is quite a bit more expensive than those books. But at first glance, I would say that it's worth every penny. The book feels like a lifetime retrospective to start with, um, just the right amount of early life information. It feels like, if you know, when you go to an exhibition and it's all set out to tell you everything about that person and to take you through their life and their work, the book feels very much like that. Now, the temptation to overdo the essay parts of this book and perhaps send it into something really quite academic, well, those temptations were skillfully avoided and the balance is spot on. A, a really great effort. The book is split into five sections. Beginnings, on the street, fashion, painting, and intimate views. Each section has a useful short essay, and I chose to show about half of intimate views because, as you, well, as you know, nudes. Yeah, I never know what to do with them. Is it okay? Is it not okay? I don't know. Anyway, I'll leave you with a few quotes from the book, and if you want to support this channel uh, while picking up a copy of the book for yourself, there are affiliate links below. Using them won't cost you anything extra, but would provide a small commission, as it were, to me. So thanks if you do that, and I'll see you again very soon. From the introduction, this is the story of a naturally brilliant, inherently iconoclastic, fearlessly imaginative, fundamentally lovable, and side-splittingly funny person who was touched early and deeply by art and found it to be the dominant force in his nearly 90-year life. Still from the introduction, regardless of his circumstances, Saul was productive creatively. He didn't have what you might call periods. He didn't have a colour period or a black and white period. He wasn't painting last month and taking photographs this month. He was doing all of it, all the time. From the essay Close to Home, the key to Saul Leiter's genius, uh, the introduction, this is Michael Greenberg who wrote this, Saul Leiter is the rare artist who breaks new ground while confining himself to the tiny slice of the world right outside his door. I didn't feel you had to travel to do photography, he told the New Yorker photography critic Vince Letty in 2013, the year that he died. When I was doing my masters, uh, we were often told by the course leader in particular that very often the most successful work, the most successful projects that people were making on this, uh, you know, this masters in photography course, uh, was work which was made uh, literally and metaphorically close to home. Lighter continued in this interview, which we alluded to just now. The world is full of endless things, and there are many beautiful things, and people have a talent for not noticing it. The street is like a ballet. Greenberg concludes his writing. Focusing on a few blocks of New York right outside his apartment, Leiter achieved the essence of what makes an artist great. He showed us a new way of seeing. Walking through the city, sitting in a cab or a restaurant, looking through a shop window, we may find ourselves unconsciously experiencing the world that Saul Leiter revealed.
Soul Lighter, The Centennial Retrospective. Wonderful book published by Thames and Hudson and available now in the UK and soon to be available in the United States of America. As I did mention, there are affiliate links in the text below. Uh, so if you're thinking of picking up a copy of this book for yourself or as a, a gift for somebody, you know, it's it's gifting time of the year, isn't it? Uh, then, you know, perhaps you could use those if you wanted to. And there's a buy me a coffee link as well below. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you again very soon.